Hi everyone. So this question is asking me to solve cosine of theta equals negative 1 over root 2 in this closed interval between 0 and 2 pi. Now let's just think about what that is. Okay. So this is going to be from 0 all the way around to 2 pi. Sorry, I got a little distracted. The question says give exact radian angle of round to nearest degree. <laughs> I should say or round to the nearest degree. Anyway, I got a little distracted by the bad grammar. So here we go. Cosine of theta is equal to a negative ratio. Now, let's think. Cosine is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. So those are the two angles I'm looking for. Follow the arrow around here. That's, that's what I'm looking for. So the first thing I'm going to do here is find a reference angle. I'm not going to use the negative there because the negative tells me the position that the angle is in, what quadrant it's in. I want to know the value. I want to know the size. So I don't want the negative in there. I want, just want those numbers there. Okay, and you should recognize this whether you're using special triangles or, or um, the unit circle, that the angle here is going to be pi over 4. So now we want to put pi over 4 in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. Now, the way I like to do this here is honestly just to count it out here. As soon as I know that my reference angle is pi over 4, what I know is that I'm dividing up pi, the top half of the circle, into quarters. To get into the second quadrant, remember you always start here, so we start to get into the second quadrant, here we go, one, two, three. I just need three of them. So three pi over four is to get into the second quadrant. To get into the third quadrant, I need one, two, three, four, five. And that gets me into the third quadrant, so five pi over four. Don't, don't think of it as three pi divided by 4, think of it as 3 pi over 4s. Think of this as 5 pi over 4s. It's just a little bit easier to, to think it through that way.